Hello, West Essex, and welcome to Sports Night Radio, The Wire's official student rant podcast for all things sports. My name is Paul Gustafson, and I'm joined today, as always, by Kern Rostogi. What's up? How you doing, Kern? I'm okay. You see the the news coming out about the Astros back in 2017. It's There's now allegations out that they were using technology to steal signs. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, they would basically bang, so you could tell, uh, like, off a changeup or a different pitch, so they, they knew what they were hitting. Yeah, but that's stealing signs has always been a part of the game. But what's really getting people mad is that the allegations. Mike Fires came out and said it too, a former Astro, is that they would have a camera in center field zooming in on the catcher's glove to steal the signs. As a Yankee fan, because they ended up beating the Yankees in a series where they were probably stealing signs. What do you think about that? Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't feel good. Um, I don't know. Maybe if they weren't, and you could tell. Um, they weren't, then they wouldn't do as well, wouldn't have won the World Series, but, you know. Thing is, we'll never know. It's in the past. Yep. Do you think any they should get face any um, consequences for doing that? With the technology, with the use of the camera, I think that they will get fined at least, and they won't have, I. They, there's not much you really can do. I don't really know. I don't have any solutions of what they could do, yeah, necessarily. It's in the past, too, so there's not much you can do there. So, on today's show, we're going to be talking about more baseball, free agency starting um, very soon. Winter meetings are going to go on pretty soon. So we compiled our list of the top 10 free agents, and we're going to go through and make our picks for all of them. Yes, we are. So we're going to start off with the Cy Young runner-up, Garrett Cole. Where do you think he's going to sign? So I think he's going to sign with the Los Angeles Angels. Um, Garrett Cole, uh, he recently put out that he was going to wait until January. And so I think that drives teams like the Yankees away from it. Because if you don't remember last year at the trade deadline, when Cashman was unable to get a new starting key pitcher, Stroman. Uh, and he was unable to give up some of his assets uh, to get to get one of them, um, a lot of Yankees fans were pissed. They were like, "We need a new pitcher. Why wouldn't you? Why would you wait?" Um, now some of the teams were asking for stupid things, like the like the Blue Jays, but we won't talk about that. But now the uh, now, so I don't think Cashman is gonna pursue him. I think he's gonna be like if he's not gonna if he's gonna wait, we're just not gonna sign him. I'm with you on the Angels pick because Mike Trout is probably one of the greatest players of all time, if not the greatest player of all time. And I think they really need to start surrounding him with talent, and Garrett Cole can do just that. And they really need some pitching. They need an ace. Rest in peace, Tyler Skaggs. Uh, and I think that the January him waiting until January will affect his outcome in the end all right we're going with anthony rendon next uh third base from washington nationals i think he's just going to resign me too um i think that he it's in a different scenario uh unlike strasburg but um i don't know i think uh rendon is he he sees his he sees what he has in washington and he wants to stick with it because what he has is actually pretty good world series champion and he's the mvp finals too they're announcing the award tonight, so by the time this is out, you'll probably know if he won it or not. He batted 319 this year with 34 home runs and 126 RBI. And after seeing Bryce Harper walk for nothing last year, I don't think the Nationals are going to let Anthony Rendon go. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Steven Strasburg. The World Series MVP. And I, I think he's going to go to the division rival, the Philadelphia Phillies, because they really need to get some pitching to go alongside Aaron Nola. And I think they'll be willing to offer him a big contract after seeing what he was able to do during the World Series. Um, I don't think that the Nationals will want uh, will want another player going to the Phillies, a division rival. So what I think that what's going to happen is actually that my New York Yankees will sign him. Of course. Uh, the Padres dropped out of the race, so the Yankees are the next best team. So... Um, I think that we need we need a uh, we need a new pitcher. We have money to spend, and Strasburg wants to get paid. He opted out of his one hundred million dollar contract extension that he took in two thousand sixteen, and it'd be sick. I'd get his jersey. Not even gonna lie. Do you think his World Series performance, winning MVP, is gonna give him a better contract? Uh, yeah, he definitely warrants a better contract. If you looked 
uh, if you started from the start of the season and you said, oh, we're, we'll get Strasburg, but we won't pay as much. But now he's looking about $150, $200 million. I think that'll definitely uh, influence his decision is the money because I think teams will be willing to overpay him after seeing what he did last year during the World Series. Yeah, Zach Wheeler from my New York Mets, where do you think he's going to sign? The Philadelphia Phillies. Um, I think he's all of Garrett Cole without actually the price tag. They might end up actually having to pay $100 million because of what he did last year. But, um, yeah, he won't. They, they're they not going to rush into a major, major free agent deal after after Harper because uh, we saw what Harper did. He, he played well. He didn't play uh, as they expected. I have him going to the Red Sox as much as I really wanted him to go back to the Mets. Uh, the Red Sox were in the bottom half of the league last year in ERA with a 4.70 ERA. And I think they just really need some pitching because their offense is solid and they really should be able to compete with the Yankees. So um, he was third, actually, in average fastball speed in the National League behind Syndergaard and DeGrom. So the Mets had the three best. Just want to point that out real quick. But I think that the Red Sox could really use that pitcher who could really, you know, bring it with the heat. Uh, yeah. Uh, next we have Mad Bum, Madison Bumgarner. Uh I think he's going to the Atlanta Braves, but what do you say, Paul? I have him going to the New York Yankees. Uh, I know a lot of other people have that. I have that because, again, I know they really want Garrett Cole, and if they wait till January when he's going to sign, I don't think they'll want to do that because by the time that time comes, a lot of the other pitchers are going to be gone. So they'll get scared that they're going to miss out on Cole, I think, and settle for Bumgarner, who he's got a lot of playoff experience, which I think they need. I think he fits perfectly into the Braves. They're shopping for a new pitcher. Um, and Bob Gardner, as you said, has a, uh, a lot of good playoff experience, something the team really needs after, um, you know, the... Uh, the Cardinal series. Yeah. Very upsetting. Yeah, they, they, they need it after last year. Do you think uh, Bob Gardner still has stuff, stuff left in the tank? Because I know a lot of people think he's way past his prime. Yeah, I mean, he's going to take a lot of innings up, especially in playoff time when you need... Every inning to every inning counts. Um, he's definitely gonna he's definitely gonna eat up them, and uh, he may have lost a lot, may have lost a little uh, little speed, but he, I think he'll be fine. The next player we have is uh, former Milwaukee Brewers catcher Yasmani Grandal. I think he goes to the Reds. Um, he's one of he's one of the the best catchers in eh, one of the best catchers in the league. He hit uh, twenty eight home runs last year with seventy seven RBI. Um, and according to the MLB trade rumors dot com, who like basically take all of the uh, basically make an odds about uh, like where a player is going to sign to, they only have an eighteen. There's only eighteen percent chance he returns to the Brewers, so I think it's a little up in the air. I personally had him going to the Houston Astros because I feel like they obviously have an elite offense. And last year in the playoffs, who was their catcher? Uh, Chirinos, Chirinos or Maldonado? Exactly. They uh they didn't have some good uh, catching performances. So Grandal batted or he had an on base percentage of three eighty last year, which that's amazing. So I think he would fit perfectly in that Astros lineup. Yeah, he he'd rack up a lot of RBIs. They got a talented uh talented lineup ahead of him. Absolutely, maybe uh he could help them steal some signs. <laughs> Hinjin Ryu, Cy Young candidate from the Dodgers. Where do you think he's gonna go? I think he resigns. Me too. I think that makes the most sense for him. Um. He played well last year. He doesn't strike a lot of batters out, but he gets innings and he prevents runs very easily. So I think he he stays with them. I think it was just one good year for him. So that's he doesn't have the best resume. So teams might stay away, but the Dodgers like what they had from him. He led the league in ERA at two three two. He started the All Star game, and I think the Dodgers really like him, Jin Rio. Yeah, I like him. I like the home run call. Um, uh, Josh Donaldson next. Uh, Atlanta Brave, former Atlanta Brave, in my opinion. I think he goes to the Texas Rangers. Okay. Um, according to a headline, they said Rangers being aggressive in pursuit of Josh Donaldson. Um, they need help at third base. They uh, they don't necessarily have the uh, best offensive defense that position. So I think it's just an upgrade in that position for them. I say the bringer of rain is going to bring his talents to the Milwaukee Brewers. Because they had great production from Mike Moustakis last year, who's going to set to be a free agent. So they're going to need to replace him. And, you know, Donaldson's a former MVP, hit 37 home runs last year. And I think he'd fit perfectly in that offense alongside Christian Yelich. Well said. Uh, 
I have Didi Gregorius next. Who do you think? Do you want to do Ozuna or Gregorius first? Oh, yeah, Ozuna. Sorry. All right. Uh, I said the White Sox for Ozuna because uh, they're looking for some more bats to fill that lineup in alongside Tim Anderson, Yohan Moncada. He could he could do just that. 29 home runs, 89 RBI last year, and I think he'd fit great in the White Sox offense. Yeah, I actually also said the White Sox uh, could allow Eloy Jimenez to play the D, the DH, uh, something that they uh, want for the extra bat. And he's good. He's he has good hitting, and he will help in the outfield. Now we'll go to Didi, former Yankee. Where do you think he's gonna go? I think he's gonna go to the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, I think this because the Tamp- Tampa Bay really needs to start spending some money. They had the lowest payroll in the league last year, and it can only increase. They made the playoffs. They have the talent to make a legitimate run. Blake Snell, Charlie Morton, um, all those other players, Yandy Diaz. Um, they have all the talent to make a run they just need to spend some of the money to get there i think he's gonna go to the twins i don't know why i just like feel i could see him on the twins uh either him or jorge polanco could play second base and the yankees they're just not gonna bring him back i think they have too much talent and they don't really have a spot for him and he can be a great player when he's healthy in 2018 he had 27 home runs i like Didi gregorius and i think he'd be a great fit with the twins yeah we have too much uh depth in the outfield uh now we're gonna move on to the buzzer beater uh, where Paul and I will be given 30 seconds to argue our part on a debate. Today's question, the worst free agent signing of recent memory. Uh, do you want to start us out? Sure. All right, uh, I'm going to give you a countdown. Three, two, one. So I was researching this, and I decided on Chris Davis. He has no excuse. He hasn't gotten hurt. He's remained relatively healthy. Um, he has a seven million, uh, seven year, six one hundred sixty one million dollar contract extension till two thousand and twenty three, which just means a- that's not good. Uh, plus, he gets an extra forty two million dollars in twenty thirty seven, and all he does is strike out. He struck out forty five percent of his out at bats this year and forty percent last year. Led the league in strikeouts. Game, that's thirty. Uh. What you didn't mention was that he had one of the longest streaks ever for not getting a hit. And he was just horrible, Chris Davis. He's horrible. Our gym teacher was a big Orioles fan. Uh, He would come into class and rant about Chris Davis. Yep. All right. Uh, Let's get the timer up for Paul. Count me down. All right. Three, two, one. As a Mets fan, I know a lot of struggles and hardships, and it seems like whenever we have a decent player, they'll leave and they'll become a star, and we get a star player, and they just disappear, and that's what's happened with Johannes Cespedes. Uh, we traded for him, took us to World Series, and then we signed him to a four-year, $110 million contract in 2016. Since then, he's only played 24% of the possible games he could have played, 81 games 2017, 30 games 2018, didn't play at all last year, and his most recent injury comes from a violent fall. He got an ankle injury from a violent fall on his ranch in Port St. Lucie. He's just a mess. <laughs> He's got a pretty nice car collection. He does. And he, and he can ride a horse. Yeah. He's a very talented man. And that's all the time we have today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to check out thewessexwire.com. Subscribe, like, and comment to the Wessex Wire on YouTube for more episodes. We look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, Minka Fitzpatrick's better than Jalen Ramsey. See ya! Hello? Yeah, I'm back. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Turn up my snare. Yo, yo. Yeah. Turn up snare. Did I really just forget that melody? <laughs> ba, 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 da, da, da. When I pop, and you go get me, just a little bit of that time.